I would like to wish you a happy and healthy new year and a, uh, a successful new year, a productive new year, an impactful new year, a strong new year, a fun new year. The, you know, this feels like the, this is the, the holiday, the time that was built for entrepreneurs because every entrepreneur I know, they, they love creating a vision for their future. I mean, that's what we do is we, we create a vision in our mind's eye and then, and then we go out and create it. That's what we get paid for. We, we get paid for having thoughts in our head and turning those thoughts into reality. And that starts with planning. And in, in this time of year, the new year is just a natural time where we reflect on where we are and create a vision for where we want to go and then decide to do that and then create the plans and then we go and do it. So uh, pretty much every entrepreneur I know goes into that mode at this time of the year. And, and it's, it, it's fun. It's almost like, um, you know, like a new season for in baseball or football or basketball. And there's all that new hope at the beginning of the new season. And, you know, if you've been following me for very long, you know, hope is not a word that I, it's not my favorite word when it comes to business, but the new year is just a natural time where everything's fresh, everything's new, and we can create this year in the image that we want. And I mentioned it's a reflective time. I think as you start to plan out your coming year, and one of the, I've talked about this in past videos, one of the ways I like to do it is I like to envision all the different areas of my life. I'm a father, I'm a husband, I'm a brother, I'm a son, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm an investor, I am, I'm an athlete, I've got a physical body that I need to take care of, I've got a mental, I've, I've got a brain and a, and a mental life that I need to take care of, I've got a spiritual life that I need to take care of. And so I'll take all those different areas and I'll, I'll create a vision for each one of those areas and goals around each one of those areas. And one of the things, as you go into this, as you go into this visioning, I think it's really important to also, to, to also do a debrief of your past, uh, of where you are right now, of your past year. That's one way to think about it. In my business and with my team, we debrief everything. Like well, anytime we do a project, we have a promotion, we do a live event, we come out with a, with a training, we, once it wraps up, we'll do a debrief where actually as it's going on, we start the debrief. We start a Google document that the whole team shares and we'll be making notes as the project uh, is happening of things that things that we want to do, do that things that really went well and things we want to do differently in the future. And I think it's important for you to do this debrief. And one of the things is, is like, if you're watching this video, you're either about to start a business or you've built a business. Uh, and, and the people in the, that are watching this, you, you're all about change. You're all about creating something new. You're all about going out there and getting things done. And those type of people naturally are also people that have high expectations of themselves. And I think it's easy in your debrief it's easy to, to beat yourself up over what you didn't accomplish in the last year. And I, I don't think there's a lot of value in that. There's a lot, there's huge value, huge value in the debrief, huge value in being clear eyed and being honest with yourself. But there's not a lot of value in beating yourself up over it as you, I mean, this is all about creating a vision for the next year. It's not about beating yourself up over the last year. One of the things, this is an innovation I have brought to the industry and it's, it's, it's spread. A lot of people have taken this on. The way we do it, our debrief, this is going to sound so, so simple, but it, it's, I think it's important, is in our debriefs, we look at th what went well and what do we want to do differently. We call it a WWDD. Went well, do differently. And it just, it sounds so simple, but it's a gentle way Instead of like, what did I completely screw up? What, what made, why am I a completely worthless human being because I did this thing wrong? You know, it's not about beating yourself up. It's simple. It's like, what do I want to do differently? What worked well? What do I want to do differently? So 
I offer that as uh, to you, you might want to take that on in your debrief because it's a great way to do a debrief. So do that debrief. Be, get clear um, on things that could have been done differently, that you want to do differently in the future, on what, what, on what, what went well, and then get busy and start creating your coming year. So that's what I've got for you. Um, again, I want to well, wish you a very happy and healthy, productive, successful, impactful, intentional new year. And let's go get them this week.